Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So the Night Gods have entered the town and engaged Reaper forces. And at this point the Reaper allies are beginning to flee like rats from a sinking ship. One such unit is making its way to a drop site and the Dragon's Rejects are going to engage them and wipe them out. So Alright, so we couldn't bring everybody with us. We got six We got six mechs. That's all we're allowed to, to uh, use in this mission, unfortunately. Um, now this is an, a three and a half skull against Clan Ice Helion. I'm hoping it goes well. I, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I checked the drop zones. Now, normally this map, like in the old Biotech, you would start here, work your way up the hill. Reinforcements would come in from here. So they were going to drop us here. So I checked around the map and it was only like here here and here that we could drop so i have a feeling there's going to be reinforcements coming from this side which means they're going to have 10 mechs so we're going to have to eliminate this lance at the top of the hill as fast as possible uh so we're going to push straight up ah oh, shoot we got right ah damn it oh well sorry I, I got rusty in here i did a, a mission on the on the side there when um taskmaster was out getting healed and I forgot to swap the taskmaster back in so heading out all right well Rusty's pretty good so the only change to the mechs uh, is Fire. in the form of the riflemen Moving um, position. now somebody mentioned it and I can't remember who it was I once again I'm horrible with names so you have to forgive me somebody mentioned that you know they, they were surprised they didn't put ER large lasers into the riflemen and originally why I didn't do it is because I couldn't sink the heat. But I was able to get an ultralight gyro in this thing. Um, clan endo steel. And then I put the two ER larges in, took the old larges out, which gave us another two, um, another two uh, tons of weight. So I was able to drop four clan double heat sinks in here and a couple of small laser magnets. Small lasers are just backups, so whatever. But um, Moving out. The two ER large lasers and the ACs, um, because this mech has got the uh, level three night vision on it, um, yeah, I'm hearing vehicles, is going to give us uh, the ability to shoot targets at a really, really long range. And since a lot of our guys have got like uh, Inferno ammo, oh shit, a Black Knight. We can heat people, hopefully that's not a Black Knight, and that is a Black Knight, god damn it. Clint, Warhammer, Black Knight and a shootist. Oh, f and Talon. All right, this is going to be bad times. We have to kill and kill fast. So yeah, I'm hoping that the uh, being able to overheat the enemy is going to be a really huge advantage. We may want to shoot our load here with this. Uh, <sighs> Crap, we only allowed six too, Commander. eh? We may, we, we may want to try and shoot our load here early with this thing. What do we got over here? Oh, it's a copter. So hopefully it's just vehicles over there. If so... We try for a back shot in this guy. That's opening us up to the uh, Black Knight, though. It goes on 18. I don't think I want to do that. Although this doesn't. That's not going to be a kill shot either. All right, let's just see what we can get out of it. It's putting putting us in a good sprint position for next turn, though. Mm -hmm. So we'll move up, drop our instability here. Yeah, we got a really low chance to hit. Let's leave the barrage off. We'll save that for later. Let's just fire. Got the drop on, you oh, we got one on him. Nice. That was probably a back hit. Okay, we got a Nova on the far side. Nova H. Oh, wow. Okay, we got to kill that guy from range. Good thing we got. Good thing we have incendiaries. All right. Ready for order. Ah, do I want to burrow this warhammer? If I do it, well, the Black Knight's going to move anyway, right? If it's going to move, then there's no worrying about we're where we're positioned at this point. Oh, 
But I think we need to go all in on this guy. Maybe we can take the PPC off the arm there. Okay, he's lost evasive, which means he's in a lot of trouble. Okay, Medusa. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Really? Looks like enemy reinforcements. Couldn't guess. Couldn't have guessed, Arius. If we walk it up, we have a much better chance to hit, so we're just gonna walk. Roger that. I really hope that that lets us get around you. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, I'm just gonna fire. I want I want to hit more than anything. Okay, so nice. All right, this guy's going down. So the AC20 might give us the kill shot we need on this one. Oh, he's running. <laughs> you better run. That Shootus has got to die, though. Where's he going? All right, they're using the... Um, there's a mineral field up here. I've done a few offline yeah. missions on this particular map. With pretty much the same setup. Let's go this route. Let's move. Against, like, like, you know, one and a half, two skull missions on this map. And I noticed that a lot of the times I use the mineral field up here to, to, to very start. Um, I think he's got to get close. So let's not worry about him right now. Uh, guns off the field. Guns off the field, we gotta get rid of this guy. Standard ammo, firing. Badass. Maybe we can get him to bail. Standing by. Let's get our brawlers in Going here. See if we can get him to bail. Roger that. Come on, bail out, buddy. Target's taking a critical hit. Nope. Okay. Uh, commander. Let's get in strike range. I'm just worried. We want to kill these guys fast. We probably can kill them fast. I'm just worried about these guys coming up here. Um, Copy that. Good night, sweet prince. I hope we can tell the that. All right, we got first blood. Nine against six now. I like the fact that they go fast. Kind of. Yeah. It kind of sets us up for um, good positioning. I don't want to go too far forward. These guys up here, I'm worried about them coming around and shooting me in the back. But we're going to have to go get them any at some point. So now we go to the Warlord here. Um, now do you, when, when do you go? 21. What, who do we, else do we have here? Nobody, and the next one's 19. So if we do an offensive push, most likely it's not going to push them back far enough. Um, going to hang on to our tandems, though. I think we may need to we we, we may we may need them for the uh, Black Knight. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Hopefully those guys will be nice, well, at least some of them might be nice and toasty by the time they get to us if they keep shooting. But 
That's not good. I don't want them to regroup. Yes, commit. Commit, thank you. Hey, I lose an armor over here. So how did he do heat wise? Not very good. Let's shut his ass down. Yes, Commander. Let's shut his ass down, please. Don't know if we can get this guy to bail. Gonna leave this one off this turn. We're just gonna go for the shutdown on him. Okay. We still got our other Treb with Incendiary as well. We gotta get... Heck, he's moving pretty fast, that guy. Right here. Mm-hmm. Clint, now he's facing away from us. Let's not overextend too much here. Yep. Let's keep applying a bit of pressure to this guy. Um, I think I'm going to hold off on my, on my, uh, Warlord. I want to save it for when we fire everything off. Alright, we got one on him. That's not bad. He's tagged as well. Hopefully it makes him sweat a little bit. Okay, shoot us this backing up. Waiting for orders. Not exactly sure why they're so afraid of me, but... Whatever. They... My reputation must precede me. Okay, let's get into here. Oh, shit. Damn it, I thought I could... Uh, I thought that blue line was this guy and it's not. Well, that was a mistake. Um, it's gonna cost me. Yeah, you can see the heat problems already, right? We're just gonna go with AC's next turn, so we'll fire all this. Well, wow, what's the, what's the chance against the Cascatel? That's pretty good. We're not gonna get a kill on it. It's got two AMSs and a tag and a lar ER large Blankenberg. This guy's more of a threat, though. Locked on fire. Okay, good hits. What do you need? You know what I need, Sarge? I need that guy shut down. Alright, well. Wish we had the pirate AC, but maybe we can pick one up in the future here. Uh, I am going to warlord this because I want to get as many incendiaries on this guy as I possibly can. And we'll fire the rest as well. Actually, let's... Yeah, we'll fire everything. Burn his ass. Ah, only plus nine, huh? Really? Yeah, Commander. Really? Let's go with the solid line. On the move. Full speed. Okay, now I gotta decide. Do I try and kill the Clint? No, I think we go out to this guy. Uh, I think he deserves some precision ammo. And I'm going to swap this to acid. He's hot enough as it is. If he shuts down, he's screwed. So let's just confirm this. Nice one. That was a ball shot. <laughs> How's your groin doing, buddy? Take that. I think that was a CT hit. Find out in a second. Oh, hoplite. No, that was a leg hit. Still look like a groin shot to me. All right, who go? Oh, he's going on 18, so he's in trouble. Yeah, you better back up. So the Black Knight's unstable. And a lot of us go before him, so I'm wondering if we swap up. Yep, we find that AMS, baby. I wonder if we swap up our um, 
incendiary units to go after that uh, Nova. Because if that thing gets a shot off, we're screwed. This thing here. Should try and heat him up before he has the ability to do anything. Get into here. Get our stability back. Let's go for the knockdown. If we can get it. Oh, you are you kidding me? You miss with both? How can you miss with both? What the what the hell was that? Okay, that Nova's awaiting orders out of play at the moment. How did you miss with both? Let's barbecue them. How did he miss with both? I still don't even know how you can miss with both. With both of them. Okay, Clint's gone. Is he going to turn a fight? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of leg hits. They've blown past my armor. That's all right. You're going to give it to him. This shootist is just waiting for the moment to freaking come out of come out of that hole and massacre me. Guy's still running. Guy's still running. Yeah. I should send you after the shootist. That's a back shot. Oh. Roger that. I don't know if this is a good move or not, but we're gonna find out. Well, I mean, 50 armor on the back. He's got it because he's, he's got the AC20, right? That Mirdrin's nice though. If we can get that, he's got to die more than anything. Get ready for some heat here. See, not let's not put the barrage on him. I want to save the heavy rockets. Save one, maybe? I think we got to go for it, though. I think he's got to be gone. I can't have an AC-20 up here. I think he's got to be gone. I'll try and make this. Sorry about this, buddy, but you got to go away. Good. Yeah, you'll be fine next turn. You'll drop that yep. heat like a, you didn't even have any heat next turn. Next turn, you'll be deadly serious next turn. Bugging out. Now, I, haven't, I haven't watched Scott Pilgrim vs. the World in like ages. That movie, I know I probably said this in the past because I'm an editor. That movie, they should teach that movie in editing school because the editing on that film is just so good. Okay, we're going to leave these off. He's already toasty. Let's see if we can claim that leg. There it goes. Scored a critical hit. Nicely done. Receiving you. Okay, this guy, I don't know if he's trying to flank us or what he's trying to do. I don't trust his ass, though. Heading out. That'll drop enough heat. Let's take a shot at him. Fire. He's taking a lot of back damage though already, so I mean it's probably why he's running. Standing by. Fuck me. This is not ideal. Not ideal at all. I think we're going to lose that leg, but we got to get this guy. Uh, I think we need to go precision because I, I don't think we can monkey around with this guy. Um, he's a little warm. I'm not going to waste acid on this guy because Clint's notorious for not having a lot of armor. But let's warm him up a bit too. So even if we do 
Uh, don't do very much damage to him. At least he'll be super hot next turn. Oh, man. I thought that was a head hit for a second there. It certainly looked like one. Reporting critical hit. To me, it looked like we just took his head right off, but I guess not. Somebody's got a rack. Do they think they can hurt me? Or a lot of ultras. What are you gonna do? He's gonna shoot, watch. He'll unload everything. Nope. He's just gonna be drunk and fall over. Is that it for him? Nope, not quite enough. Not quite enough, but Skull can finish him up now. I'm listening. It's all yours. Yep. He's all yours. He's all yours. Okay, so I don't know how much hit points this pilot's got left. We could go for the torso. And hope that kills him. It's not going to be enough damage, though. Oh, yeah, it will. Here we go. Nope. Wow, hey, man, he's fallen down twice and he's he's resisted two, two already. Yes, command. All right, not much we can do about that. Um, I'm just shocked he hasn't shut down. You got it. What is up with you and those auto cannons, buddy? Critical hit, commander. Can't be missing like that. He's gonna melee. Nice. Okay, that's bullshit. He's got his AC on his arm. How's he punching? That's all you got. Well, he, he blew himself up, but still, it it you know. Aye aye. I've I've always been against that. Even in the original BattleTech weapons firing when you're meleeing. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, get into a fight, and I know I know, fighting in Battletech is not like fighting in real life, but you, if you had like crossbows mounted to your fist, if you're punching, they could technically go off while you're punching, but if you had to aim a weapon, like how do you punch with the arm as a, I don't know, whatever. If you punch it, like if your arm is an AC, you shouldn't be allowed to punch. Because as soon as you punch, you dent the end of the barrel, then you fire the ammo, like fire the weapon off, and it explodes on your arm. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. But whatever. I'm just complaining. I'm just a complainer. Let's take his PPC. Firing on target. Or not. I, I don't know, maybe I'm just against, like, brawl bots. I, I don't, not a really big fan of melee in this game. Like, I know I've played melee in the past, but it's just not, I don't know. There's just something about positioning and firing weapons yeah. that makes a lot more sense than melee in this game. All right, well, no matter what we do, we're gonna give these guys our leg. There's no way I can really hide from all of them. I can go here, I guess. Move order received. Not the best place to be, obviously, because I'm not don't have very much stability, but Man, we didn't even get the arm. Let's go for this leg. Switch the ammo to incendiary. Go with incendiary. Maybe shut him down. I don't know. He's got a large left. Oh, he didn't have a BBC. Alright, well. Well, whatever. I hope we can salvage that. Yeah, so do I, but I mean, we couldn't do much out of that. He's just a burnt he's a burnt scorch mark at the point at this point. No leg hits, beautiful. The damage is light. Now the threat is this guy. The rest of these guys we're okay with. Is this guy I'm worried about right here can't let him get a shot off. So there's a hoplite and a clan pike. 
I know what that, oh, that's the one with the. Oh, that's probably got like uh, four Ultra Twos. Commander. But you, that's what it's got. Fuck, we can't reveal to that guy. That's not the best place to be either. Yeah, that's all it's going to take is that guy moving. Let's just go here. Coordinates received. We're guarding the back against this guy. I don't want to move up because if this guy moves forward, he'll make it a shot with all those weapons at us. And that'll just be a bad time. I'm going to fire one and I'm going to save the rest with the, uh, the uh, Talon. Engaging. Nice shot. Yeah. I'll do what I can. Okay, put our ass right here, get our stability back. This isn't gonna make too much difference, but a little bit. Let's get started on him. At least he starts in fire. At least he starts in fire. Hopefully he's fast. Like if he can reveal to us next turn. Yeah, he's still not quite there. He's still... Well, I think he is. I think he just gifted himself to us. I don't know how fast he is though, that's the problem. Damage. Yeah, it's your leg. Relax. It's all good. This guy's... I mean... I can't let him shoot. Oh, this is a full hill, though. He can't get up here. What are you doing? Okay. Alright, we're going to go range game. We can play that game. Yeah, he can't get up there. He might be able to get up that, that rough area. But if we move into here, he shouldn't be able to see us this turn. Engage these guys with what we have. Then when he moves, next turn we can just go to the edge and blow him up. Commander? I think that's probably the best way to do it. Get into here. Border confirmed. Let's engage this guy. Apply some damage to him. Um, I'm gonna leave my laser. Well, let's leave it off for now. My my thinking is that once we once we have engaged the other guys. Once we engage these guys, I don't want to be Commander. turning the laser off because we're going to need it. So to I'm okay with uh, leaving it off for now. Heat's starting to kill us here. Um, take a couple. Take a couple of pot shots at this guy. Ooh, nice! Oh, he's dead. Must have been running an XL. What's up, boss? Rotate it up. Don't mind applying a little bit of heat here to go after this thing if we can take it down in one shot. I'm going to Warlord this too. What's our chance on this guy? Actually, this is not bad. Let's get started on him. Alright, three hits. Yeah, I'm loving Tiger Tail in this Rifleman. It just seems that she's, she's hitting yeah. her shots fairly well. You know? Maybe not all the time, but enough for me. Okay, get down to here. Not the best place to be, but we'll drop all our heat. Gonna need you for that you Nova. Need? Okay, we'll get into here. Moving to position. I know it doesn't matter, but as long as he starts in fire. Nice. 
it just puts this heat nozzle up, right? Just that slight little bit. So even if it's like, like especially against energy builds, if you can get them standing in fire so that when they move and they shoot, their heat's going to go right through the roof. Like even if they start off heat neutral, oh, what's up, boss? they'll still have a little bit of an issue. Okay, so our left side should be facing away from the enemy. Like this. Location confirmed. I'm going to sit here. Brace it up. So that Nova's going to start in in fire. If he does decide to shoot, he's just giving it. He just gave himself. He just gave himself to us. His back is facing us now. That's the guy I don't like. I don't know if those are Ultra Twos or what they are. Maybe they are. But nice to. If that's all right Ultra here. Twos, mm -hmm. it'd be nice to pick that up as a. Uh, Let's go after him. Both It'd be nice to pick that up as a vehicle. Uh -huh. See if we can get rid of this guy. I'm going to put the barrage down there just in case we don't hit. Let's use the warlord on this guy. I, don't believe you're gonna I want to try to engage this guy with as many of our close range mechs as possible. Save our long range mechs for shooting at these guys. Ah, uh, really? I'm wounded. Yeah, yeah. Don't complain. Don't want to hear any complaints. We're getting good salvage out of this. You better back up. You better back the fuck up. You pissed her off now. You don't want to piss off somebody when they got an AC-20. Although you are halfway across the map, so... Probably don't have to worry. Oh shit, the Nova went fast this turn. Doesn't matter, though. Yes, Commander. Doesn't matter, though. So I turn to burn, so keep on listening. Wow, it's been forever since I've listened to Leibach. It's my turn to burn, so keep on listening. I spread light where all around is dark. I can't even remember the rest of the words now. Hymn to the Sun. That was that was the track. Great album, though. That the the album that that came off of. I think it was just called Leibach. Receiving you. All right. Um, can't get the okay. Nova, so let's engage we'll the other guys. You. Might as well use the Warlord up. Let's get some slug on the hoplite. Actually, what's the chance in the pike? A little bit better. It's got a lot of armor, though. Well, 200 is not that bad. Let's go on him. Landed one. Nice. Yes, Commander. Alright, let's get on this guy. Ah yes, nice. One hit. Yep. Alright, Sarge, you know the score. Gotta start this Nova off in some heat. Cannot let him be able to get this laser. Oh my god, he took a good shot to the back there. Wish I had swarm ammo. Can't let him shoot. Hopefully we can take that Nova next turn. I don't think the... Uh, Bushwhackers in any kind of range to be able to get to that Nova. No, it's not. But not bad. Not bad positioning. And I am going to vigilance this only because um, I'm going to switch this to acid too. Only because I don't want um, them to go before me next turn. Plus to get rid of these, the instability. Okay, a couple hit with acid. Not bad. Okay, who's up? Orders. Orders. You can't get him, can you? God damn, it's Nova. It's in a okay. tricky spot, that bastard. I mean, I guess it's good that we can't see him. Because he can't see us, too, so... 
Okay, this Nova I think's going. Is it? No. Medusa. Yeah, come on back out, baby. We got some shit for you. You do not like me. Probably prioritizing the AC-20 if Awaiting I had to guess. Orders. Oh, that's not a bad shot. Oh, though. We got two of us to go on 22. Is that going to be enough? What's our chance to hit? Pretty darn good. We could do a called shot, maybe push him back in initiative. Maybe we can get the... Uh, Trebuchet out there. It's so risky though. But I think we got to do it. On my way. Let's just do it. All right. Uh, gonna do control bursts, offensive push. Go on this guy. Um, doesn't matter where we're shooting for. Let's try for the arm. I want to use Improved or Incendiary. I think probably Incendiary. Less of a chance to hit, but we'll be applying a hell of a lot of heat to him. Although, you know what? He's going to unload with all his weapons anyway. So let's see if we can just take the arm. Copy that. Okay, laser hit. Did we push him back? That's gonna hurt. No, we did not. Yeah. Okay, when else do they go? 15 and 12. Shit, so this is the last chance we got. Not good chances to hit. No way to get a back shot on him, huh? It's because I'm sprinting. We gotta try and take that arm, though. We gotta go for that arm. All we gotta do is land one of the two. Do I offensive push him? I think we gotta try it. Pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. Did we get it? Yep. There we go. Okay, so at least half his weapons are gone. You didn't like that, did you? And his initiative did not drop. Who do we have left? Oh, we got a rifleman over here. Standing by. Location okay, hopefully these time. ACs are in play now. I think they probably are. I want to get clan ultras in here. On this mech. Take it. Yeah, man. Good hits. Relatively stable, relatively reliable. I really like that about her. Yeah, you run, you bastard. You run. Yeah. Alright, Sarge. I want the rest of those lasers in the actual loot. So, let's get on them. See if we can clean him up. We'll burrow through this side. See if we can finish him off. I'm just gonna shoot. How'd that taste? Still going. Wow. Waiting for orders. You tough bastard. Okay, let's get in the trees, use them as armor. Move into position. Figure out who the best person to shoot for is. AC-20 is just out of range, but not for you. Get the last precision shot. <laughs> Let's warlord it. See if we can actually get a hit on this guy. That would be so juicy if we could, though. Let's use the acid as well. Affirmative. Nope. Well, that was garbage. But we had low chances to hit, so... You got plenty of AC-20 ammo, I don't complain. Wow, they're really loving you. Here comes those ACs. Yeah, time to get you the hell out of there. Reporting. Alright, kiddo. We gotta get rid of this guy. 
Okay, not bad. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. Get the long range boys on everybody else. I'm just gonna shoot. Guess I'll give it to him. That then. should do it. Yep. <laughs> that one's done for. <laughs> that face plant was awesome. <laughs> It's like, ah, yep. fuck, I give up. I give up. All right, who do we want to shoot for now? Um, Copy that. I think we go after... Um, oh, shit, I thought I was staying up on the ridge. I think we go after this guy, because I think he's... Oh, the Medusa's actually running pretty hot. So let's go after the Medusa. And we're just going to shoot. I'm going to use the incendiaries. Okay, we penetrated somewhere. Left arm's gone. Nice. Got past the armor. All right. Waiting for orders. Get over here. I'm on the move. Okay, now we got a shot at the uh, pike as well. Not very, not a very good shot though. Um. Yeah, let's take advantage of the best chance, better chance to hit here, I think. There's the knockdown anyway. Short range missiles are all gone, Commander. I don't think our um I don't think our uh rifleman's gonna get a shot at Standing it though. By. Our rifleman is not gonna get a shot. Let's get out in the open. We'll go. Give us a better chance to hit from this range. I think we go all in on this guy. I know it's going to jack our heat up, but I think it's worth it. We'll go. Good chance to hit. Take that. Nice. Ready for orders. Move a little closer, get a little higher. Not very good on you, but we can see this guy, so that's all that matters. All right, well, let's just finish it up. I mean, we could have gone for a leg or a headshot, but it would have ended up as a CT kill anyway, probably. So. I'm ready for orders. Okay, let's get behind the rock. This is what you call um, in uh, in the textbooks hiding. <laughs> We're just hiding from the enemy at this point. Yeah, Treb's got lots of armor. I expected that to happen. Barely hit, Commander. All right. Good to go. Get over here. On my way. Generate a little bit of evasion. Not much, but get a little bit. That's not bad. That's actually not bad either. This guy's probably more of a priority though, I think. Well that pike can outlay a fair bit of damage. But if this guy's gone, I, I think the targeting for the pike is gonna go right in the toilet because it's not gonna have very much very many sensors on us. Locked on hot. Wow, really? Really? You're going right back to just hitting them with the laser, are you? Just giving up using anything else. Ooh, you're completely out of position now. It's alright, we'll get you over here. Roger. You can be in play next turn. Commander. We're down to four on the floor here. Stay in the trees. That can come off this turn. How warm are you? You're not warm at all. Not so worried about the AMS against I'm the uh, MRMs, because the AMS take a neg have a negative to hit against MRMs. So. Hauling ass. It's always a good. It's always a good loadout if you want to make sure you're going to hit your enemy with lasers or with uh, missiles, is to kind of go more or less with the MRMs. Use the improved ammo, and if you got laser or uh, missile targeting, Lock use that. Target. Ooh, yeah. 
see, even though this fire starter is like one shot at a mech, it's still doing fairly well with those two medium X pulses. The range isn't perfect, right? I'll give it that. The range is not perfect on the X pulses. Let's actually back up a bit here. Um, you got to get a little closer, but the fire starter is fast enough to do that. And those X pulses do significant amount of damage for their um, for their weight. Yeah, let's just go after this guy. Gonna go, we're gonna use the standard because I want to use incendiary on the uh, on the vehicle. I think. Yeah. Shredded. Now he's got one of three health. He may resist this, or it may just be it for him right here. Nope, it's it for him. All right, it's us against the vehicle now. Us against the vehicle. Who's up? Commander. Just brace it up there, buddy. Stabilizing and bracing. Can't afford to lose any gak. Yeah, see that thing? Could you imagine if we had that thing? Like the demolisher and the clan playthrough was one thing, but that's actually pretty damn accurate. And that's a significant amount of damage for a vehicle at that range, for sure. It's like four, four Ultra 2s. I wonder how much ammo it has. Five Ultra 2s. Oh, yeah, man. You saved that, did you? Yeah. Actually, let's hold off. Aye, aye. Because you're going to get close, so... Get this on him. Never mind, he's done. Well, there it is, folks. That was a fun. That was a fun match. Move her down. That was three and a half was against clan, so it's not too bad. I think I think with six of us, that was probably a pretty good, uh, a pretty good uh, matchup. Mission successful. I think if the tables were turned and I was playing the clans in this one, one of two things you you could have done one or two things. They had enough firepower to challenge us one on one. Those first five guys, so the Black Knight, the Warhammer, the Shootist. Uh, the the Talon and the uh, and the um, Clint two C, yeah. So we're okay there. They had enough firepower to, to challenge us one on one, like five against six. So they could have either pushed us hard, right, and then forced us to um, either pull back or absorb damage, or they could have backed off, and then. Just engage with everybody at the same time. Wow, we have all the pieces of the shootist if we want it. It's an SLDF Royal Battle Mech. Plus one Evasion Ignore, plus one Gunnery at 20. Plus one Lance Resolve, plus one Lance Initiative. Ooh, that's not a bad choice, though. Well, we still have so many mechs we got to put together. Let me think about that as we go down here. And see. Oh, okay. The AC-20 Mirrodrin, I think we want this. This would be a nice replacement for the AC-20 that we currently have. I'm going to throw that in for now. Um, let's look for rare stuff here. Like, I'm glad that these all showed up in here. Hopefully we get a couple in the roll. They're not worth taking right now, but if they show up in the roll, it's going to be a nice, nice get for sure. All these Ultra 2s. Man, we could make an awesome DACA build with somebody. Like... I think the Bushwhacker, doesn't the Bushwhacker have three ballistic hardpoints? One in the arm and one in each torso? Like, rather than the AC-20 build, uh, we don't even have the ammo for it. we got to hope we get it. That's the thing. That's the that's the problem. Is It's all coming down to ammo. It's just, I know I said this in the other playthroughs. It's so weird how... I'm lacking all the things I need in each of the playthroughs, but the other playthroughs have got plenty of them. It's so, yeah, it's just interesting to me that that's how it's turning out. So we didn't really get a lot. So Ultra 20, Ultra 2 double, and Ultra 2, we have one ton of Ultra ammo. So if we get an Ultra auto cannon, we can, we can arm, we don't, we, we don't even have AMS ammo. I'm tempted to take this. I can't find it in the damn store. And I'm not getting any of my rolls. I, I don't have AMS ammo. I've got plenty of AMSs, but no fucking ammo. And then my clan playthrough, I got AMS ammo and like no AMSs that I can use. It's so, 
it's just the opposite. Maybe we do take the shootest then. Maybe we do. Just we might as well just jump it right up. So it's got one ballistic and three laser hard points. Such a stupid name though, shootist, but whatever. Um so what does it have on it then? It's got the AC twenty mirror, which we might get if we if we bring it back. Like once we bring it forward. Um so it's got upgraded electronic suites. Um doesn't say what lasers it's got on it though. It's close combat, so I'm assuming they're mediums or pulses or something like that. Not that it matters. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. I mean, I could do something... I mean, I could take the AMS ammo and, and I can Ultra 2 and a couple... I can Ultra 2 and some... like the double load. But I think this is probably better. And I can get GAC on offline plays. I'll... I'll do like one and a half, two skull missions and just get a bunch of stuff. Because it sure as hell ain't fun, nothing in the store, that's for sure. Alright, let's go this route. Alright, we got a Black Knight piece, Clan Pike piece, that's awesome. Oh, we got two of them. That's really good, so hopefully we can get one of those in the future. Talon part. Uh, oh, LRM 10, that's nice. Medium laser pulse magna. Alright, that's that multiple shot one. That's interesting. Tag we can definitely use. Basic cockpits we can sell. The Artemis we'll hang on to. Pharaoh, I think we got lots of, don't we? Yeah, we can sell both of these. Double heat sink's awesome. And fusion core, which we can sell. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So I do have a question for everybody um, it's before I end the episode. So I've been thinking over the past few days, like when I was down with, with my COVID shot and I was like exhausted and couldn't really do anything, I was thinking about this playthrough and I'm like, what can we do? Because we got to take the, the the leap forward with this group, right? We've got so many mechs to assemble. Hey, we've got the longbow sitting here, right? Um, and then we've got like, we've got a summoner to put together 70 times. We've got the shootist now. We've got a, a um, the warhammer, the crossbow, um, and we can put together a storm crow. So there's a bunch of stuff, hunchback 2C. Not that we want the Clint, but we can put together a Clint. Um, but the C the C bills is really the only thing that's murdering us. Like I can't, I don't have the C bills for it. So my question is, is do I? Um, I was thinking about doing offline plays, taking like one half skull, or sorry, one and a half skull to two skull missions against the clans. And just going for the clan XL engines, just shoot the legs off and go for the XL engines. Um, but it's going to take a while to do that, and through with a couple of playthroughs, it's going to be hard to do. So I'm thinking about going and just into the settings when I do that. Um, and I want like I want to want to get your opinion on it, or what you think if it's if it's too cheaty or not, right? Going to the difficulty settings, going down here. And then setting the the um, um, shop selling prices. Um, sorry, that's what the shop sell it. This is what the scrapping payouts. Is this what? Yeah, desired selling value. So me selling stuff, right? And turning it up to like eighteen percent for both of these, so we get more C bills. And then uh, on the where is it here? Um, Salvage, like turning up gen, like turning it to generous salvage. I thought there was a bet one more that had like it turned up the. Uh, I don't see it here anywhere. Oh, contract payment. Here it is, and generous contract payment just to get paid a bunch of sea bills for low-level missions, just to generate sea bills to be able to put them together. Um, or would you rather me stay true to the playthrough, and just, you know, try and get as much as I can on camera. 
Um, but like I said, this was really this playthrough or the multiple playthroughs was designed more as a campaign and not necessarily as a this is what I would do if I was just playing the game. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, because I do want to get the uh, heavier mechs into play, especially with this playthrough. Um, I think the clan one is not as, um, I don't want to say necessary, but it's nice to have them kind of in the medium, low, heavy range, because I don't think they can take on, like, because they're all Omni mechs, and the repair time is, like, negligible. Uh, it doesn't cost me seeables or anything for those guys, right? So, um... It gives me more options with them than it does with these guys, right? So, yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.